welcome to the Hilton Niagara Falls. The first building actually opened in 1999. It stands 30 floors high and it houses about 516 rooms. Tower 2 actually opened in 2001. It was supposed to be 58 floors high, but ended up only being 53. With 501 rooms, it's actually the tallest building in Niagara Falls. And I actually didn't know this, but currently it is the tallest hotel in all of Canada. And it actually costs $1 billion to build. This location is great. You're right across the street from the casino. There's actually a bridge that kind of adjoins the two, so you can use their parking garage. And if you have a player's card, you can park for free. Otherwise, to park here, it gets pretty pricey. We stayed here last year, and I'm pretty sure we paid about $50 to park inside. Otherwise, I think it was around $30 to park outside. But is this spot right for you? Let's take a look around the room and see what you guys think. And make sure you stay to the very, very end of the video. That's where I'll give you guys my final thoughts and review of everything. So as you first enter, you've got this nice little uh, credenza area with your ice. Decent sized TV. They got the mini fridge, which is awesome. And I mean, we're not in Vegas, so there's no uh, drinks in there. It is making a really loud noise though. So yeah, there's that. You know, I love a coffee machine and it actually rolls out too, which is pretty cool. So we've got some uh, coffee, some tea. So that's nice. Some more storage, some more storage over here. We got the nice king size bed. When we booked, we actually originally were going to get a, uh, two queens, but uh, we like this layout of the room better because you get a, a standing shower instead of a, a tub. So yeah, we want to go that route. Got the full length mirror. Decent sized closet. With the safe, so when we strike it rich in the casino later, we can hide our money in there. Little work area, but let's be real, I'm not doing any work when I'm here. I apologize, you're probably gonna hear the fireworks in the background. But uh, what I love about this room is this corner rooms here at uh, Hilton. You get this awesome like window area where you have windows on three sides, kind of wraps around. So this side you'll get to see sort of like the city of Niagara. Over here you'll just, that's me. I, You'll see uh, some of the other hotels and everything around. And over here you got your, you can see a little bit of the falls. If you were higher up, you'd see a lot better. And of course we got the casino across the street, which we will be checking out later. So as I mentioned, we were originally having uh, two queens, and I think that would have given us a sit-down tub, but this actually has the standing shower since we changed to the king, so I actually prefer this personally. And no shower curtain, so you guys already know I'm happy about that. It's a decent little vanity area. I like how they have these uh, lights around the mirror like that. That's a nice touch. All fairly consistent toiletries. Looks like we've got this Crabtree and Evelyn, so that's not too bad. More storage down there. Throne. All in all, not a bad room. Um, as I said, we have stayed here before. I've stayed here a few times. Probably one of my favorite hotels in sort of the Niagara Falls region. My favorite being Falls View, which is across the street. So this is probably like my second favorite. There are a few down there that are also pretty classy that I haven't tried out yet. But I mean, you know, this is probably one of the better ones that you're gonna get. Uh, just with its you know, convenience and proximity to the casino, the fact there's a bridge, there's actually a new entertainment area that's right sort of beside it that you can uh, go see shows and things like that. So it's in a pretty good spot. Anyway, we're starving. Both of us haven't had dinner yet, so we're gonna go find something to eat and uh, try and win some money in the casino. I've actually never checked out the pool area at the Hilton before. Um, when you're on the 18th floor, you got this like hot tub area here, and then you've got this like nice like I almost want to say infinity pool because like <clears throat> you can sort of look over across the street there. You have the casino in the falls, so like you almost have like almost like an infinity pool type vibe. Lots of seating areas, and then over here. 
I think this is down here is the 16th floor. So I almost got like a little deck. have another couple pools there probably more like the kitty pools because we bought these like water fountains and stuff but yeah i wasn't expecting this and i'm pretty impressed good morning campers Sorry I didn't give you guys too many updates last night. Um, we actually ended up at sort of like a local bar. Cody's actually originally from uh, Niagara Falls, so we ended up seeing some of his friends at like a local bar. Maybe one or two tequila shots happened, ended up at the casino. Um, I did play Heidi, so she was okay with me. I think I won a little over $100, so not too bad. We both slept pretty well too in this bed. It's not bad, they gave us five pillows, and I only used one, because it's pretty big, like it's pretty thick, so I only need to use one. Um, but yeah, slept pretty well. Um, the one complaint I will say is it is a bit warm in this room and I do like to sleep in a cold room and I do think that because it's winter you can only have the heat on which is like a lot of condos are like that as well I know my condos like that um, so we just turn everything off um, I did have a quick shower shower pressure is pretty good and no shower curtain which I love um, and uh, yeah stayed nice and warm it also had that like handheld thing that you could sort of take off of the the shower and sort of get all your nook and cranny and everything so yeah, it was a pretty good shower. I will say, I noticed there was no robe. I thought, you know, it'd be nice to put on a robe while, you know, I'd film for you guys at least. So I'm not, you know, I don't have to hide my shame with the blanket. Um, but uh, yeah, no robe. And I was surprised with that because this is sort of like, you know, one of the, I guess, higher end, I would call hotels in this sort of area of Niagara Falls. Uh, but yeah, no robes. Um, but yeah, I mean, there's a few few little pluses here. They said the coffee machine's good. Um, yeah, anyway, not a bad place so far but I am hungry. So we're gonna try and find something to eat and uh, yeah, we'll see you guys there. So the coffee in the room didn't really quite do it for me. So we got these iced coffees and toasted marshmallow, it's delicious. All right, so I just ate at the deli at uh, Falls View. Um, the only reason I chose this to be honest with you is because I had about $15 food credit to use. So I used that there. Um, it was just okay. I had a grilled cheese with apple on it and then I had like a tequila with soda. Okay, sorry, I had to stop there because I think security was coming by. And they don't really like you filming inside the casinos here. But anyway, so um, yeah, I had a grilled cheese with apple on it. I had a tequila soda. It came to about $27. Luckily, I had about $15 uh, food credit. And uh, based on my slot play, and I had about another dollar, I think, just extra credit. So they gave me that. Um, all in all, it was just okay. I felt like they very much wanted you in and out, in and out, in and out, though. Because, like, I had my meal. I was, like, halfway through it. And uh, they already brought me my bill. And... Well, it's first she asked if I was going to have any dessert like that. I said, no, I'd be okay. She brought my bill already. So it seems like they kind of want you in and out, in and out, like a revolving little door. Um, it was just okay, though. As I said, it filled a hole. I just needed a little something. So anyway, just okay. All right, guys. I thought I'd check in. It's been, uh, it's been a minute or so. Um... Yeah, it's been a bit of a, a different trip, I guess, for us. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, Cody's, Cody's from uh, the falls originally. So we have spent a lot more time, um, you know, visiting places and, and people that, uh, some, you know, seeing his friends and I'd say seeing more local uh, places, um, you know, local bars, things like that, more so than I guess the touristy places that I guess most people watch this, this channel would typically want to see. Um, that said though, tonight we do have tickets to see the Fall of Christmas and I show. Um, this is probably one of my favorites, if not my favorite show that they do here at Falls View Casino. Um, I've been coming in to the show for, I don't know how many years now. This is, um, unfortunately I didn't get to it last year because the tickets were a little bit limited. And then uh, the year before, obviously COVID. So I didn't get to go. So the last time I saw the show was probably about three years ago. So I'm buzzing to be able to see the show again. I'm, I'm really, really excited. Um, and Falls View is, you know, super generous, comp to some tickets. So. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to seeing this show. It's been uh, it's been a minute, and it's one of those things that just kind of helps you get into that, you know, Christmas spirit. You know, it really helps to sort of get me feeling. I like to go to it a little bit earlier in the season too, kind of give me that little kick, to get me uh, into the Christmas mood. So I'm really looking forward to that. Um, if 
they allow me to i will try and get a few uh, you know little shots while i'm in there as well sometimes they sometimes they're okay with filming in there sometimes they're not it really depends on the act and what it is uh there is some figure skating that goes on in there so i don't know if they're going to be a little bit more strict about it just for their safety i don't know but i'll try and get a few you know little hits in there as well um but uh yeah just want to give you guys a quick little update just because as i said it's been a bit of a bit of a different niagara trip uh, than, than usual, which is nice. I mean, it's good for good to see some uh, familiar faces and everything, but uh, as I say, not so much of the, the touristy stuff that I'm used to. We actually originally did have a plan as well to go uh, across the border and do some shopping, but uh, unfortunately we're here during the American Thanksgiving. Um, so obviously you have Black Friday, you have a lot of the, the crazy busy shopping to do. So we kind of thought it probably wouldn't be a good idea to cross the border this time. Um, even that, like I was looking forward to doing that and, and showcasing some of that as well. Places I like to shop when I go over to like Buffalo and you know, just across the border here. So I will say that hopefully for another time when we come, maybe it's a little less busy and you know, obviously weather permitting and everything as well. So stay tuned for that. Uh, hopefully we'll get something like that going at some point in the future. But uh, for now, as I say, we will be checking out the Christmas show fairly soon. So stay tuned. And of course, as always, stay tuned to the very end because I'll give you guys my final thoughts of my experience here at the Hilton. You know, the good, the bad, the ugly. So far, it's been pretty good. As I say, I do, uh, this is one of my favorite hotels here. I do like it here. I like the location. I just sort of feel like because we ventured away from this area quite a bit this trip that I haven't really got to experience so much of it, if that makes sense. So, um, yeah, I sort of feel like we haven't really, it hasn't lived up to what I would want it to just because we have been sort of off away from this sort of the touristy area the falls the casino this that and the other so anyway more to come though more to come Good morning, campers. We are waking up um, Sunday morning. It's a little dull outside. It's very, very English day, they would say. You know, very uh, rainy, gray, just kind of dull. Makes it a little bit easier to go home, I guess. So a couple sort of apologies I want to make right off the bat. Um, you're going to be getting a lot of noise. I don't know why. This has been a pretty noisy room. I mean, even right now, we've turned the air off entirely because it was all you could have was the heat on. And I didn't want the heat on because uh, you didn't get the windows all around. So we didn't need the heat. Um, it was pretty warm in here. <laughs> so turn the air off, but there's still a, an airy noise going on. I think it's possibly because maybe the windows aren't quite insulated properly. I find Niagara to be very windy as well. I find it to be a very windy city. Um, and yeah, it's definitely been pretty windy this time around. So you, you're picking up probably a little bit of that. This mini fridge is so noisy. Like it kept, it woke me up, I don't know how many times. It feels like a nightmare because all of a sudden it just starts whistling and it starts gradually getting louder and louder and louder. You feel like you're going crazy. So yeah, that's been a part of it as well. So. Uh, Cody found a way to stop it from doing it, but then it starts doing it again later on. So you're probably picking up a little bit of that as well. So again, I apologize for any feedback or noise you might be getting. Second of all, it's been a bit of a strange trip for me, at least. Um, I come here, obviously, as a tourist. Cody comes here as, you know, a former resident, right? So when he comes here, he obviously has his, you know, stomping grounds that he likes to go and see. He likes to go and see his friends and this and that, which I, I totally understand. Um, you know, I know even for me, when I go back to, to England, we spend a lot of time, you know, visiting people and seeing people and, you know, friends and family that we don't always get to see. So I totally get it. Um, that said, it did kind of take away a little bit, I guess, of the touristy highlights, you know, a video that I could have uh, possibly showed you because we did spend some time at some more of like the local type places. Like Friday night, we got here fairly late. So check-in was pretty easy. There was a bit of a lineup. Uh, there usually is at the Hilton though. It's a very popular hotel. There's a lot of rooms here. So there usually is a bit of a lineup. Um, but uh, we got here a little bit later, which I think helped a bit. So it took a few minutes, but then we got in and it was fine. Pretty much right when we got to the room, cause like, we're going out. So we ended up at Doc some, I forget the name, Doc something. Anyway, um, sort of close to Lundy's Lane, like the little mall around here. Ended up there. Uh, after that, we played in the casino for a little bit, but then ended up going back to the room, going to sleep. Um, Saturday, 
got up, didn't just skipped breakfast. Neither of us were really hungry. We just went over to the casino, got those iced uh, coffees from that cinnamon. It's cin it's not a cinnamon, but it's a cinnamon bun place in the food court there. Uh, played a little bit there. Decided we didn't really want breakfast, so we just skipped it entirely. Um, and then again, Cody wanted to see you know one of his friends for lunch, so we had lunch with one of his friends at another local place, the Blind Pig, I think it was called. And uh, dinner, he ended up skip uh, going uh, for sushi with some of his friends. I had some stuff I needed to do, so um, I stuck around the uh, the hotel in the casino area and you know tried to do a little bit of filming for you, and that's why I ended up going and having eat, uh, having dinner just at that deli there. So yeah, a little bit of a different vacation or weekend away in Niagara for me at least. Uh, a little bit of a different video for I guess for you guys as well. So um, hopefully. We still can put something decent together for you guys to so get to sort of see what you know what the Hilton and this sort of area is all about. I know I have featured this area quite a few times. I've stayed here a few times, and I, you know there's more to come as well. I, I definitely will be coming back and showing you, you know, other hotels and other things to do in this area. And you know maybe I should have even highlighted some of the like the local spots to check out as well. So maybe that's something for the future to consider. Just a quick side note on the deli. I'm glad that they did bring back the food credit. So. I had about $15 food credit because of my slot play. Um, so I was able to use that towards, it's got a grilled cheese. The deli deli used to be a little bit different. You used to go up to the counter side, you wanted this, this, and this, order it, and then you, they'd give you like a number. You sit at the table and they come and bring you the food. Um, you could choose to eat it there, or you could take it away. It wasn't really, you weren't really being served though. I found uh, they changed it up a little bit. So you sit at your table, they bring you a menu, they bring you drinks, they bring you this and that. It was just a different experience. Um, did I love it? No, I've never loved the deli. It was just one of those convenient things. If you have food credits, you may as well just use them because they do expire eventually. So we thought, you know, may as well use them. I only had 15 bucks, so that basically just covered my grilled cheese. And then I got a, te a tequila soda. So my bill would have been about $27. And then I used that food credit, which obviously helped a little bit. So going back to the Hilton, the check-in process was not too bad. Like I said, we got here a little bit late, which I think helped us a little bit because there, there usually is a pretty big line. It's a popular hotel, busy hotel, a lot of rooms, etc. cetera. So um, getting here a little bit later might have actually helped a little bit. We still had, did have to wait a little bit. I think you're for your Hilton Honors member, you have a separate line, which I, I'm sure I am, and I just always forget to actually look that up until we actually get there. So anyway, I should really look into that. And again, if you're a Hilton Honors member, make sure you you know check it out and use that lineup. We had originally booked a two queen room, which uh, to be honest with you, I, I didn't know what we had really booked. We booked it through a third party site called Super, um, formerly Snap Travel, if you've used that before. So yeah, the room ended up being about $400 Canadian. I think it was about 385 or so in the end, which um, Canadian, of course. Uh, which wasn't too bad for the Hilton, to be honest with you. We are in sort of in like a, an off season, so to speak. <sighs> Niagara doesn't really have, I guess, an off season because there's always something kind of going on. Like right now they have all the lights and everything by the falls, which a lot of people come to check out. You know, a lot of Christmas and holiday festivities are going on around this area. So I wouldn't say they ever have an off season, but definitely their summers tend to be more expensive. So, uh, and weekends also tend to be, just like with anywhere else, tend to be more expensive. So if you do want to save some money, try coming maybe during the week and, uh, if you're flexible, search around. I booked this by searching the hotel um, that I wanted to stay at and the dates I wanted just on Google. And it came up with all the different prices for all the different place, you know, places to book. Um, Super ended up being significantly cheaper than a lot of the other places. And I've seen this happen before, even uh, Days In, which is just uh, across the street over there. Um, I had a quick look at there for another weekend that we were thinking of coming here. And uh, it, it was a really busy weekend. I don't know what was going on. I think they were filming uh, Canada's Got Talent or something. It should have, uh, the room, Every other site was like 200, 300 plus. I happened just to Google and certain sites were coming up for like 60 bucks, 70 bucks. So I mean, a significant, significant savings. So definitely search around. Don't just book on hotels.com or you know through the, the, the hotel chain itself. Do some looking around because it really does pay. Anyway, so we wanted to get the same room that we had when we were here last summer, which was a similar setup. I think it was maybe slightly bigger, but similar setup. Um, they said it wasn't available. Then they said something similar was available for an extra $300 a night. So we thought, mm, no, we're not gonna do that. So we ended up switching to a king, which was available. And as I said, this is a pretty similar room to what we did have um, last year. I think we were possibly a bit higher up because I can't really, I think we could see the falls a little bit better the last time we were here. You can still see them a little bit. Um, so it, it did kind of work out for us. You know, you can see the casino across the street. We have these wraparound windows so I can see, you know, what's going on beside me. I can see behind sort of like the, the local area of, uh, of Niagara Falls where like sort of like the residents of Niagara Falls live. So it still is a pretty decent view and it's kind of nice. I, one thing I didn't like is that you couldn't really, you can't open the windows. So if it does get stuffy in here, you can't open the windows at all. You can't, you know, even ventilate them or anything. So 
Well, you know what? There is a little bit of a vent down there, it looks like. So maybe that's where the, the air you're, uh, you're possibly hearing is coming from, because it looks like there is a slight vent down there. One thing I will say is it was, a, you know, I mentioned the fridge, I mentioned the sort of wind we're hearing as well. It's a little bit of a noisy room. I'm glad we are on the corner because uh, I think had we been possibly closer to the elevator or just sort of in the middle area, I think we would have heard a lot more people. Like I did hear the people across from us, they were playing some music at one point. It wasn't too bad though, but uh, I do think if we were in certain areas, we would have picked up a lot more of the noise possibly. The bed itself though, like in terms of the room, the bed itself was pretty comfortable. Um, I slept fairly well despite some of the, the noises going on. Bathroom was pretty good. I did enjoy the fact that the shower had, you know, no shower curtain. It was a sort of stand up shower. You could take the shower head off and, you know, wash whatever you needed to wash. So that was a nice feature for me. The toiletries were fine. Um, they gave us, uh, the towels are kind of small. You know, I mentioned before, I like a bath sheet. You're never really gonna find those in, in a hotel. So you have sort of these small, sort of kind of rough towels, which was fine, I guess. Um, there was no housekeeping though. I will mention that. They did mention that to us when we checked in that there was gonna be no housekeeping, which doesn't really bother me all that much. This is something that a lot of these hotels have started during the pandemic to sort of, I guess, minimize the contact between, I guess, staff and, and the guests, which, doesn't really bother me. I don't really care that much if someone comes in and makes my bed or, or something like that. I guess maybe you want to change the towels or maybe get some more tissue or things like that. Just things like that you might need to do, but they did say if you need anything like that, you can just call down and, get, and do it. As I said though, I think this was this was something that they started during the pandemic. Um, now I feel like it's more of a cost savings thing to have you know less people maybe coming in to do more of the work, you know, change the bed to this, to that, and the other. So it does feel a bit more like a cost savings thing more than anything now. But as I said, it didn't really bother me too much. didn't really affect my stay too much. We're only here for two nights. I mean, we got here Friday pretty late anyway. So, you know, that was sort of a uh, wash anyway. And, uh, you know, we weren't in the room too, too much. We were pretty busy all over the city and everything. So it didn't really change too much. With the Hilton though, I do like the location. You are right across the street from the casino. So we were able to take advantage of the free parking because parking here can be kind of expensive. We parked here when we came uh, last summer and I think to park inside is about $50 or so, um, which I think is a little bit nuts. Again, I've said this in all my videos in the past, just include it in the price. Um, if you have your guests staying here, just include it in the price. If they don't choose to park here, then you've made 50 bucks. So just include it in the price. There's no surprise at the end. I think people will be a lot happier that way. If you do have a casino card um, for Falls View, you should, I believe, depending on what status you get, you will get free parking. So there is actually a, two bridges now that connect the casino to the Hilton. So one actually connects uh, right from the parking garage on the second level. I think it's the, what they consider it the sixth, I think, parking level. So that bridge will actually connect you to sort of a lobby, which connects you to the Hilton where we're in, and then the Sheridan, which is right across sort of somewhat connected to us there's a lot of restaurants down there at the bottom as well um the other bridge actually will connect you from the casino to the new entertainment area that's part of the hilton so there's a new venue here um the olg stage i believe it's called i haven't seen any shows here yet but this is something they've been building for a number of years and finally you're going to start utilizing it because you know obviously the pandemic kind of screwed that up um but they are going to have some shows here coming up soon uh, by the time i post this video maybe one will have already happened i know michael bolton's coming here and some other people so uh, it'll be interesting to finally check out that theater because i have not seen it yet uh, with that they've also opened up another restaurant called brasa i believe it's brasa after dark which is uh, looked kind of nice, little you know umbrellas and, and set up and everywhere. It looked uh, it looked and smelled really good. Uh, that's where you get that meat on like the stick where they sort of come to the table and cut uh, the meat up for you, which obviously won't be good for me, but uh, I've, I'm sure other people would really enjoy that. As for like the sort of the grounds, the hotel grounds themselves as well, uh, their pool area was actually very surprising. I've never actually used it. I don't think I've ever used any of the pools when I come to Niagara Falls. I don't know why I don't think to do it, but uh, the pool area is actually really nice. It's on level 16, but for some reason we were still able to access it from level, we're on floor 18. Um, it's like a two level pool though. So there's one area where there's lots of, you know, like, water spraying and everything it looks more of like the i guess the kitty area and then the level that we're on they've got like a hot tub and almost like an infinity type pool where if you're right at the edge you sort of get to see i guess the i don't think you'd actually see the falls but you can still get a pretty nice view so yeah next time i stay here i'm definitely gonna bring my uh, my swim trunks because it, it looked really nice there's also a ton of restaurants here in the within the hotel you know, connecting here with Sheridan and then also across the street. There's just lots of restaurants. It's just a great location. This is probably one of my, as I said, my, my probably my second favorite place I've stayed in the falls, second to the actual falls view because you know itself. Um, but uh, yeah, there's lots to do around here. There's lots of restaurants, lots of dining options, lots of 
just things to do. I do like this area of, of Niagara quite a bit. All in all though, it's just nice to see Niagara feeling like it used to again, you know, like there are still some people wearing masks because, you know, it's flu season now and, you know, they're talking about how, you know, COVID is kind of coming back in full force in some areas. So you do see some people wearing the masks again, which, you know, all the power to you. If you feel more comfortable that way, then by all means, do what you need to do. But even seeing the show, it was great to see the Christmas show again. I haven't seen that in since 2019. And this is something I've been seeing for every year for, I, I don't even know how many years, to be honest with you. but. It was nice to get to finally see it again. Uh, last year I didn't get to see it because tickets were limited. Uh, the year before I didn't get to see it because obviously COVID shut it down. So yeah, the last time I saw it was 2019 and it's probably my favorite show at Falls View Casino. Um, again, Falls View was super, super uh, nice to us and gave us some comp tickets for that. That again does come from Slot Play. So I have mentioned this before, if you have a, a casino card, make sure you have your email linked up to it as well because you never know what kind of offers and promotions you're gonna get. Log in every once in a while, see, because you know they might be giving you free show tickets that you have no idea so keep an eye on that because you there's usually something going on uh, food offers even just parking that can save you a few bucks as well so is the spot right for you I would say this is definitely a hotel that's if you're willing to spend a little bit more money it's a, a good option this isn't your budget hotel it's, as much as I feel like there's some you know areas of improvement you know stupid things like our door doesn't fully shut you have to actually shut it or else it's gonna stay open a little bit um, you know, the, the carpet could use a little bit of a refresh. There's certain areas if you want to get nitpicky, you know, the uh, noisy fridge, for example. If you want to get nitpicky, there's certain things and upgrades that definitely could be done. But that said, it still is, you know, one of the better hotels here, I would say. This is not a budget-friendly hotel, though. Like I said, we paid about 400 bucks, which in theory wasn't that bad compared to other sites. But usually you're looking at a few hundred, a couple hundred dollars a night here, I would say, typically. Um, 180 200 plus uh, they do have other room options with like you know for example the the jacuzzi tubs and and things like that so there are other room options but this is definitely not your budget friendly hotel if you're looking for budget friendly you're probably looking more so other videos i've showed you like um cascade like the quality cascade holiday in to a degree uh days in for sure those are more of your, your budget friendly this is probably i would say top tier but it's somewhere up there in terms of this area that said though, I mean, you're in sort of like a prime location, really. I mean, I can, like I said, I can see the falls. I've got a nice view. Um, I'm across the street from the casino. I don't even need to go outside if I don't want to. Like I can use these bridges to access the casino and to access some of these restaurants and things. So, you know, when it's a snowy or rainy day, you don't want to get outside. It's pretty good location, really. So hopefully I've covered everything. I mean, I usually end up forgetting stuff and thinking afterwards I should have mentioned this, that, and the other. But if I haven't, if you have any questions, please feel free to leave them below. I will be happy to you know, answer as much as possible. Um, if I don't know, I can always try and look it up or, or, or whatever the case is. But yeah, feel free to leave any comments, questions, concerns at the bottom. It actually really helps me and other travelers out as well. It helps me because it helps with the algorithm on YouTube. So it helps sort of share this video to other people. Um, it helps other travelers too, because they may have the same questions that you have. And also even for future videos of mine, I can think, oh, you know, that was a good question that that person asked. So I should include that about the next hotel that I do. So feel free to leave any com uh, questions, comments, concerns at the bottom. If you're not subscribed, please consider subscribing. It really does help me out. I really try to grow this channel. Um, my next goal is 5,000 subscribers, which seems like a bit of a, a feat for me, but uh, it would be really, really awesome. I'd really appreciate it. It would really help me out. And that way I can continue being able to get videos out like this, you know, out there to you guys. So please consider subscribing. Please like this video if you found it helpful at all as well. Even if you haven't, just like it anyway, because again, it helps me out. Once again, this has been Daniel Spotlight, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.